so this is part two of the continuation of the video I was talking about, about the girls at my church that were trying to be my friend and then I allowed them to be my friend. And then once they saw how transparent I was, um, they stopped being my friend. So once they saw how transparent I was, it was a wrap. And I know when to be professional. By all means, I would not be where I am work-wise on my job. And any job I go to, I get promoted within a year's time. I know how to handle myself. I know how to do that. But I knew after I saw how transparent I was around them, I knew I was like, we're not fit to be friends. Like You got to know who you can be friends with and who you can't. Um, I knew then I was like, cause for one, I'm not bougie. That's not me. Now people, I think what it is, is that when I'm out and when I'm dressed up and dressed nice and got the makeup on and hair in place and looking fly, I think they think that I'm bougie. And then once they start to get to know me and I allow them to get to know me, they see that I'm not bougie and I'm not. I know where God bought me from. I ain't even trying to be nobody's bougie. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, I guess once they saw that I wasn't as bougie. <laughs> as I looked. <laughs> they stopped being my friend. So. Um, yeah. Hmm. Um, so now just to say that when you are a person that you're real and you're tra and you're transparent and you're you don't mind people seeing your flaws and you're not perfect, so you know you have flaws and it doesn't matter to you that people see them. By all means, I'm not gonna be fake and phony. And I, like, I have it all together. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. And if you think Duchess Kiki is like that, then you got the wrong one, sister girl. I am so not like that. And I learned years ago. Years ago, because I grew up having to be fake and phony. And when I got grown, I'm not going to be fake and phony for nobody. I grew up because my grandfather was a bishop. Grandfather was a pastor, then he became a bishop in my teen year. No, later on, that was after I was grown. But anyway, when your grandfather's a pastor, everybody expects you to act a certain way in the church. And that's what I did. For years, I did everything that made my mama happy. And no matter what I did, she won't happy. For years, I did the making my pastor happy. My my last pastor, the one that my granddad turned the church over to, was she's my godmom. I did it all. I did that to make did stuff make them happy. But then on the inside, I wasn't happy. I was miserable. I was so super miserable. And once God told me to leave my granddad's church, and I left y'all, I never ever looked back on who the old person was, who the old Kiki was. Nope. I was like, mm -mm. nope. I'm going to change for the better. I'm going to be a better person. I'm not going to be mean. I'm going to be nice. And I started making drastic changes in my life, showing love, showing compassion. Speaking of that, y'all, I was reading the scripture, Romans 12, the other night. I read Romans 12. Y'all, if that scripture did not, what they say, step on your toes in church. <laughs> I'm going to have to come back and talk about that scripture on a video. Because when I tell you that scripture stepped on my toes. Because I want to, there were things in there that I need to be. 
I need to be generous. I be generous to people. I need to be kind. I need to be. And this is this. It, after I read that scripture, I was praying to God and I was like, God, I want a heart like yours. Y'all know how much God deal with with us. Do y'all know how we mess up all the time and God got to deal with us still? And he still got to, he still shows his love and kindness to us. We mess up all the time and he still show us his love and kindness. I was like, I got a lot of work to do on me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I ain't talking about nobody else business. I ain't talking about y'all. I ain't talking about nobody else business as far as what's wrong with y'all. Uh -uh. I'm talking about me. Every now and then you got to do a self-evaluation. And if you want to do a self-evaluation, go read Romans and Romans 12. Read the entire chapter. And I was only supposed to be reading Romans 12 and 21 because Joyce Myers was talking about that scripture, 12 and 21, earlier that day. And I was like, I'm going to read that. I ended up reading the entire 12, chapter 12. Romans chapter 12. Read it. Y'all, I ended up reading that entire chapter. And when I finished, I had to do some self. While I was reading it, I was doing self-evaluation. Because everything I made, I want to say out of showing love, I do. I have grown to show love now. I didn't used to. When I was at my old church, I didn't show love. But once I got to the church I'm at now, they taught me how to love. And now I lo I try to love people regardless. I don't care what your background is. I don't care who you like, who you love, what you... I'm still going to love you because I'm going to love you with the love of Christ. Well, I had to do a self-evaluation. Out of everything that was listed in that child that I want to say one or two things I do. But the rest, I didn't. I don't think that I'm generous. And it was saying being gen generous to the to the poor people. Now I don't call myself rich. I can I really don't yeah, I mean I don't say poor no more for myself, but that scripture, read it. I'm serious. I was like, I am not doing this stuff according to the word of God. So there are some things I got to get together, y'all. Y'all, I got to get it together. I got to get it together. I was like... So, I'm telling y'all on at the end of my videos to be the best you can be. And I'm thinking I'm being the best that I could be because I've changed... But there's still some work I got to do. <laughs> so, being that there's still some work that I got to do, I'm still scribing to be the best that I can be. <laughs> and I think that those girls that were being my friend, um, I think that those girls that were trying to, you know, that were being my friend, thought, that I had it all together. Y'all. I, huh, I am trying to get better. I am working on me every day. But I can't do it without God. Like. I am working on me. All the time. And that scripture. Really made me review me. <laughs> Y'all. So. You get the opportunity. And you really want to be a better person. Please read Romans 12. And I read the. Um, 
I read the English Standard Version because y'all know I bought this Bible last year when one of the pastors was preaching at church and he talked about this version and I was like, I need that because I need to understand. No, I got my King James Version at the end of the bed down there, but I got this version right here that helps me understand a little bit better. And trust me, when I read Romans 12, I legit knew that I needed to clean up some things in my life. Now, I have learned years ago to be compassionate. I learned that years ago. I learned to show love. One thing about my granddad when he was alive is my granddad showed love to everybody. And my family, we didn't understand. We were like, how he gonna love, how he gonna love them? And they done did this, this, and this, and this, and that. Because he was loving with the love of God. And so once I left my granddad's church, I realized my granddad loved everybody. Including me. When I had my son out of wedlock, I got pregnant out of wedlock. My granddad still loved me. He didn't kick me out of the church. If anything, he was trying to make me come back to church because I had stopped going. And then the church I go to now, a lot of people don't like that I go to a multicultural church. They don't like that I'm not in Pentecostal anymore. And they're upset. And they don't like that about me. But I'm where God sent me. And being where I'm at right now at my church I'm at, even though I ain't been since quarantine, <laughs> Corona. But even though I know, even though I'm at the church I'm at, the church that I'm at have shown me how to love people, how to love people regardless of their race, regardless of their backgrounds. Because all of us at my church have all different backgrounds. None of us come from the same background. It taught me how to love um, and not hate people. It taught me how to love people in spite of their differences, in spite of what their beliefs. I now believe everybody is entitled to their own belief. Everybody is entitled to their own feeling. I cannot make somebody live according to the word of God. I cannot make somebody do anything. But one thing I can do is I can love on them. I can love them. And that's where we as Christians have got to get it together. Because we got to be generous. I'm telling you the scripture. It got me. If I, You know how they said the word found you? It found me. And I had to repent to God. For all the things that I were not doing. That I thought I was doing right. Not according to the word. So. I'm going to love on y'all, whether you like it or not. So I'm sorry if you don't want to be loved, you still going to get some loving from Kiki, okay? <laughs> Except my love. <laughs> but I just wanted to, to let y'all know, I forgot completely about that I had uh, read that. Actually, it was last night. It was last night that I read that scripture. And I legit found that I needed to repent and that I needed to get it together. I'm saved, but I still got some work to do. So, yeah. So, I think because I'm, I was just, see how just transparent I was with y'all? I was letting y'all know the real, letting y'all know my flaws, letting y'all know what's wrong with me. Those girls couldn't handle that. It was just too much for them. It was just too much. And they ran, honey. 
But I, you know, I, for, they, it didn't, it don't matter because things, friends in my real life, like not my YouTube life, they come for a season for me. It's always been that way for me. They're there for a season and then they're gone. And it hurts because I mourn over them being like get, leaving my life. I have a friend right now that I was just talking to my son about it tonight. And me and her were like sisters. But she's not even talking to me right now. I don't know what I've done. I don't know what I've said. I do know that we are in different areas of our life because all she want right now is is a, a man. But with me, I'm satisfied. I'm good. I don't want to date right now. But all she want is, is her, everything, her being, all her being is around getting a man. And that's not where I'm at. And I don't know if it's because she knows it's not where I'm at and we just like are staying apart. We didn't have an argument. Now we've had one before, but we didn't have an argument. We didn't have a fight. We didn't have a disagreement. We just stopped talking. And a lot of it is because my focus was on my business. Her focus is on finding a man. So I don't know, like, and it hurts because I be like, man, like, why friends got to be in my life for just a season? But when you have the anointing on your life, that's what happens. That's what happens. When you have a special gift on your life, it happens. It happens. But one thing I'm glad about. And I'm so, and I was telling my son tonight after the live, I'm so glad to have my YouTube friends. You guys mean the world to me. And I don't want to ever mistreat you. I don't want to ever, you know, uh, be rude to you or be mean to you. I don't want to ever do that to you. Because I feel like you guys are family to me. You guys have, you know things about me that my family don't know. I don't even let my family know my YouTube. <laughs> because they're so judgmental. I don't want them to see my stuff. <laughs> I know it's bad. It's bad. But all I'm saying is I appreciate you guys being my friends. And I appreciate you guys being there for me. And listening to me, listening to my videos, listening to me rumble and rant and cry and holler and scream and laugh and and everything. Y'all listen and I appreciate it because for so many years I felt like people didn't listen to me. And I feel like I'm in therapy with you guys. I, I'm in counseling. I get to come out and say what's going on. I get to come out. Because a lot of times, like I said, growing up, I wasn't allowed to say what was wrong with me. I wasn't allowed to say I was sad. I wasn't allowed to say something bothered me. And now I'm able to do that with this platform. And you guys are listening to me. And you give me encouraging words. And you pray for me. And you're there for me. And I'm just thankful. And I'm grateful for my YouTube family y'all just don't know i am so grateful to y'all for y'all so grateful for y'all being in my life so with that said go read romans 12 i promise you it'll catch it it'll, it'll catch you if i wish you could read the english uh standard version because that breaks it down in pure english where you just like, well, Dag, what I've been doing? <laughs> what I've been doing, Rufus? <laughs> what I've been doing? But uh, don't forget to thumbs up the video. I'm going to bed, y'all, because I'm acting really crazy. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Y'all know I got to get up at the break of dawn, so let me go to bed. Thumbs up the video. Don't forget to subscribe. 
come on and join this family where we're transparent and we're real over here. So if you want some realness and some and some craziness, come on, come on over here. Okay, come be a part of the family. Hit that subscribe button right there underneath this video, okay? And don't forget to hit the bell so you can be notified of when my videos are posted. And y'all, leave a comment below, chat with the girl, holler at your girl, let your girl know what's going on with y'all. And I love when y'all tell me parts of y'all life. I enjoy it. I do. I don't know if this is the, the nosy part of me, but I really enjoy it. <laughs> I really do. Um, and y'all know the last thing that I need you to be. And after you read Romans 12, you really going to want to be the best you that you can be. I will talk to y'all later. Bye.